Okay, I want to talk about average rate of change. I'm going to start with talking about um, throwing something in the air. So if I wrote the height of the object at sometimes t was say negative 4.9 t squared plus 10 t plus 25. Well, we know the units then from what we've talked about before. Since it's negative 4.9 t squared, that number is telling us the height is measured in meters. And the time is measured in seconds. And this would be an upside down parabola. And this means I threw it up at 10 meters per second from a height of 25. So it goes up and goes down. Now, That's a rough idea, and you could graph this on Desmos or something, and you'll get something like this, starting at 25. If you put in 0 for t, you'll get 25, and then it'll go up, but eventually this will pull it down. All right, <clears throat> now average rate of change. So let's say I asked for the average rate of change from on the interval one second to two seconds. Okay, so the rate of change is going to be, we've got to figure out how high it is at one and how high it is at two. So one second we're going to be someplace on this graph. Let's see, how high would we be if we put 1? See, that'd be 1 times 10 is 10, plus so that'd be 35, and then 1 in here would be minus 4.9. I would be at 35 minus 4.9, 31.9. Maybe here, maybe here, but it's 31.9. So h of 1 is 35. 30.1 meters. And that's one second, because time is in seconds. And I put one in here, and I get negative 4.9 plus 35, which is 30.1 meters. And h of 2, I would put 2 in here and figure out that uh, that's 20 plus 25 is 45, and 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4.9, 4 times 5 is 20, 19.6, negative 19.6, um, that works out to be, let's see, 20 off would be 25, 25.4, so perhaps someplace here. 1 and 2. So, average rate of change. So, what would it have to be doing to get to this height from this height? Well, on average, it would have to be going down at a constant amount per time. So, the average rate of change is just the slope of this line. And that's called a secant line. Just a little vocabulary lesson. If I had a circle, we call this a radius. We call that the diameter. We call a, a line, a segment that has its endpoints on the circle, we call it a chord. If we have a line that touches a circle at one place only, we call this a tangent line. 
And if we have uh, a line that contains a chord, so there's a line that contains a chord, and this is called a secant line. And so, contains a chord, connects two points, goes through the slope of the secant line, is the average rate of change. So to find the slope between this point and that point, we're going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or change in y over change in x. However, in this problem, it would be the change in the height over the change in time. Now, the change in the height, it went from 30.1 to 25.4. So we'd take y2, 25.4 minus 30.1 over the change in time, 2 minus 1. The height is measured in meters, and the time is in seconds, and so we're going to get the average velocity of this object in a, its speed. It's meters per second, just like driving a car is miles per hour. So we end up with, let's see, 25.4 minus 30.1 is minus 4.7. I believe, seven, uh, four, five, yeah, over two minus one is one. So we get minus 4.7 meters per second. Every second, this goes down four point meters per second. And it would keep doing that if that was the secant line. And yeah, so the average rate of change on this, the height of this is negative 4.7 meters per second. So it has an average velocity going down of 4.7 meters per second. So the average rate of change is just the slope of a secant line to the curve.